welcome back, and sorry for going a little long the last one. I got a little excited with all the exploring to do. God is watching. Okay. Knew you would come below the cage, down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps disobeying me. Okay. It sounds like a radio, but I'm not beeping. Now I'm beeping. Okay. Crap. Where is the radio? for radios. Where's the radio? It's somewhere in that room. Alright, I don't know if this time stops while I'm doing that or not, but... I think it does, but where is the radio? This is supremely annoying. Turn on my night vision and maybe I can see a little bit better. Okay, there's no radio. See here. Oh, is it up on top there? Wait, ah, uh, maybe that's it. No, it's fixer. Okay. Oh, is it through the other room? Oh, I bet it's in that other room. Okay, how do I make it to there? Gotta go find that radio so I can do the first room. Vending machine installation, okay. Oversaw the vending machine's installation today, all working mostly because the casino crew was running the show. Finally complained to the chief about the machines. They feel like a company store. We only get a few casino chips with the paycheck, so we can barely buy anything. Chief says he's not sure the chips were Sinclair's idea. Only if we had any problems with the machines, let him know immediately. After another discussion with the Puesta del Sol crew, told Chief it'll, it'll be difficult to enforce the prohibition list, let alone searches. Uh, Chief had the gala on his brain, said Sinclair put the construction of the villa is more important than patting down construction crews for liquor and Kim's as long as they didn't hurt anyone or each other. Got a little hot under the collar. Chief did too, told me to walk it off. This whole thing stinks. Chief's barely got time for me. Now Sinclair's turning a blind eye to things in the villa because his friend's running the show. 
Uh, one good thing about this assignment, no more riding parking tickets. Sinclair's laid out the street so narrow, cars can't even come into the villa. Resources being what they are, he may not want folks to waste gas coming here. Cuts down on traffic noise, too. Chief says it's more than that. Says Sinclair wanted the villa to be, quote, reclusive. Long as I don't have to worry about double parking snobs or Christless gas hogs. Clogging the villa, I could care less. Wonder how he expects folks to get here, though. Seems extreme, even for privacy. Yeah, so, I've kind of explained given some sort of logic for why I have no stuff and uh, they have also uh, explained the idea of all a little teleport to get here and everything that it was tended to sort of be sealed off and separate from the world from the very get-go. whiskey and stuff like I can. Cigarettes at some point. Uh, okay. Get no hidden junk. Alright. So I gotta go play that tape. Your dog. And this thing God is watching, so I have a feeling that the other guy calls himself God, or sort of a Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing, I bet. I don't know how I turn him back to dog, though. Don't let him make me hurt myself. Hurt keeps. Alright, data. Oh, wait, I didn't Are you think... listening? From now on, when I talk to you, pay attention. I've left markers on your pip boy. Find the three other callers in town. Eight, twelve, and fourteen. Get them to the fountain. Obey me, and you can all go free. I'm gonna shoot him in the face before this is over, I can tell. Dog, back in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. Uh... The carving's a reminder for mirrors and for dog. Dog, who you heard coming in, howling and hungry, as always. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts 
hurts and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. So his, uh, maybe if I shoot him, he goes back to being dog, because hurt drives him out, I don't know. Uh, it's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red, Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. So if he's dog, maybe it's inactive. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. Of course you do. And so do I. No. Why did I lock him in the cage? I locked him in because I could feel him getting hungry again. There wasn't much time. If Dog roams, he gets into trouble. Eats things he shouldn't. Listens to others he shouldn't. So he's safer in here. We're safer in here. I hoped if I locked him in here, the one he obeys would come for him. Instead, I get you. Oh, I have the key. Always did. Hid it on the chain behind my neck before Dog came bursting out, eating everything he could. Wanted to make sure whoever came to fetch Dog spoke to me first. Got within reach. Instead, I get you. Dog and I don't share everything. What I know, he doesn't. What he knows... What little he knows, I don't. For example, your arrival is a surprise. I wished that I could have remembered. I'm sure Dog knew. And when he's feeding, well... I sometimes have to find out about it later. Now all there is to do is wait for my intended guest. He's not coming. Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. Know, the old Elijah. man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck, you're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. 
And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. Are getting used to super mutants being blue, by the way. They're green in Fallout 3. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. That's him at Helios 1, I guess. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent. Before the cage. I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is? is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free. Hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however... So he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. Of course you do. Okay, uh... Dog... obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage, end you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No, you wouldn't. If you did... You won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. 
I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre, so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though dogs more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. Huh, I don't know, man. Should I bring... I mean, this is like it's kind of taunting me to try the harder way to bring him as being the smarter one. I don't know if I want the smarter one. Uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far, and I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. Lead on. God has given you the In My Footsteps perk. The perk grants you bonus to stealth as well as the ability to step lightly around place traps. So that means I won't set off traps. Okay. I'm still not sure if I did the right thing here. I guess I could always just play Elijah's voice and, no and have uh If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Let's see if there was other stuff. Uh questions for you all it takes is the right command right, so that leash that. on your wrist and the one on your neck still if you ever want to speak to me bark my audio log at him all right so I can do that dog is afraid of me as long as the okay the master Elijah Reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, commanders. The Master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish, was conditioned to serve the Master until death. The old man, Elijah, merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now, Dog does whatever the old man wants. Yeah, the original super mutants were con and in the West were created by a guy called the Master, and he created the army, and they all were sort of programmed to obey him. Uh, all right, hold on. Mad? Mad doesn't even begin to describe. There's not a word for the hate I feel inside. It's consuming twists every thought to red. After all that's laid ruin to the world, again and again, I thought at last we could be free. Thought Dog could be free. No. No, the world's always got another cage, waiting, keeping everything you want just out of reach. Gather others, drag them here, fetch like an animal, and hurt them if they resist. Dog doesn't even blink, even hear their cries when he's twisted their arms full circle. 
fragile things, screaming on the ground. To listen to him, commanding Dog to hurt others. And Dog just nods, eager and willing to serve. Do anything? Me. Me, Dog puts in the cage, hurts himself to try and drown out my voice, when all I want to do... Uh, uh, never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back, screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands, lock Dog up. I've watched over Dog for so long. Tried to stop him from hurting others, killing others. Quiet that mindless, howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. He's my brother, Kin. Without him, I wouldn't exist. Maybe I was nothing more than his conscience, trying to rein him in. Useless. I... I just need him to show restraint, let go of the needs, the hungers, ease the burden. Just once, so I can have my thoughts to myself. The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. I don't know when I first spoke, or when I first started thinking for myself. It was so long ago. I slept for a long time. Before, I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice. And I woke up to protect him. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? Don't play stupid. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Ma okay. You're the same. I saw this before. Okay. Of course I know. Right, we already heard you all this too, even though it shows it is new. Uh, the way back doesn't matter. Try to leave, try to disobey, and your collar ends the journey faster than you can say, begin again. You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can... I can find the way back, if back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go, you're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death, it's home. Me? You think you were in a... Yeah, we saw that. Uh... More. The old man obsessed with the... You're the same... Alright, I've seen that. Uh... Oh. Alright, God, why is it showing these as new? Mm. The same. Uh... More. Heard the call of the... Finds out it's... Alright. What does dog know? Ask him. Or better, don't. It wouldn't be... Yeah, I bet it wouldn't be like we'll this conversation. We'll see. Alright, I kind of think... The idiots. Gonna end the episode the here. But, uh... kind of think I should... Play uh, Elijah's voice and talk to dog and make my decision about whether I want to go back and do him. So I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you next time for an interview with Dog.